everyone, welcome to November Favorites. Anyone who's blonde probably struggles with trying to keep their hair hydrated. The longer that I go in between shampoos, the more the ends dry out, it looks brittle. It's a constant struggle. So I have four hair products that I absolutely love. The Nourishing OGX Coconut Milk. I put this in when my hair is wet as well as when it's dry. I just put a pump in my hand, in my fingers and lightly touch it through all over the hair, particularly on the ends. I've talked previously to you about Silk Elements from Sally's Beauty Supply and this is another one that I use combined with the OGX. I actually put a pump of a couple of these products together and this is really nice. I love the cream instead of the oil. It very, very, very much hydrates my hair and I would say you have to be respectful of it because it could look greasy very quickly. These are two new products by Shea Moisture, at least new to me. In the shower, the Super Fruit Complex 10 in 1, I shampoo, rinse it out fairly quickly and then try to put this in while I shave and give myself a pedicure, you know, with a foot scrub and whatever else I need to do so this can sit in there as long as possible. This my hair loves. My hair is so thirsty and this it just drinks it up. It is a fabulous product. We'll definitely repurchase. And the other Shea Moisture one is this Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strength and Grow Leave-In Conditioner. I use this wet and dry. So along with the first two products I told you, I frequently take this one and it is very thick. I love the smell of it. It just smells delicious. And when you put it in your dry hair, I frequently can get little tiny whiffs of it. You have to be very close up to the hair. It's not anything anybody else would notice. But when I smell it, I just love the smell of it. And it helps my hair not look so dry. It's thicker, it strengthens it, and it grows. My hair, I swear, on one day I could say it's too short, and by the end of that same week, I'm like, I think I need a haircut. I'm like one of those dolls that you pull the string and the hair grows. I have never had my hair grow so fast as with this, and I know it's this leave-in conditioner, will not be without it. Now, I've purchased other Shea Moisture products, and I do like them, but these are my two absolute favorites, will repurchase. I have two eye palettes to talk about. The first is my Lorac Mega Pro, and I'm gonna tell you why in a minute, but I ended up using this for a week. I love it, it has such a variety of the colors. It's just a beautiful product. Like most Lorac Pro palettes that I've used, it's very soft which means you don't need to do a whole lot of blending. You can get a look very quickly and easily, or if you do too much blending, you can muddy it up. So don't over blend with this. These have some beautiful single eye colors. I really got to know and enjoy it using just this palette for a week. And like I said, I'll tell you why under my appreciation that I used it for a week, but I got so inspired. Then I decided to use my Too Faced Natural Eyes and took that with me traveling and again I got some single color looks out of Push Up and Chocolate Martini and then I did multiple different looks with this. This is a beautiful palette. Love Too Faced and Lorac palettes. Both of them are beautiful and I've been appreciating both of those. So the reason that I used a palette for a week is a couple of things. My girlfriend Kristen Kay and I talk and she has been encouraging me and telling me how you really get to know a palette. You will create different looks from it rather than just the standard look that you grab that palette for if you're forcing yourself to use it on a regular basis. I understood this logic but I didn't want to commit to a month or panning a whole palette or that just sounds too extreme. I think I'd get bored and so on the Facebook community that Kristen, Ms. Kristen321 has created, we started talking about panning a palette. And I thought about it and I thought, I can do a week. So I put a challenge out there and several fabulous people that are on that community, I'll link the channel down below, it's a use up makeup page, they joined me in this challenge. And it was so much fun to use a palette consistently for a week and really get to know it. And it wasn't about 
using up the product because obviously one week isn't going to use up a whole palette. It was about getting to know the product and seeing how I felt and not being so scared of committing to using only one palette for a while. And I'm not committing anything, but I might see what I could do in future. That Makeup Use Up community is just an amazing place. It's inspiring to not buy. You get people posting that they're not tempted about the Sephora VIB sale. It's like, yeah, neither am I. Everybody's going on about it. No big deal. Or they're posting their empties or diff different things. It's just a great community where we all share and we all talk. And I love the dialogue. So if you haven't checked that out, definitely do. And thanks to Ms. Chris. 321 for setting that page up because I just think it's fantastic. The next thing I've been appreciating is my new doctor. My old doctor has stopped practicing. I saw her for almost 20 years. We're really good friends. We go out all the time. We just saw her for happy hour and I was so sad when she went out of practice. I am fine. I have found a new doctor. Sorry Jill. <laughs> I love my new doctor. I can instant message him and he replies back within an hour or two, which I understand is becoming fairly common, but that was just mind-blowing for me. He cares, he listens, he talks about concerns. I just trust him and love him. And if you don't have a good doctor, I wanted to mention this because not only is it something that's impactful in my life, but hang in there and keep looking. This was the third doctor that I had to try after Jill, my old doctor, stopped practicing. So you aren't going to find them first time out. Look on Yelp, see what their reviews are. It's a lot of work because you have to find out if they take your medical plan, if they're accepting new patients. Yelp, what the reviews are, if they're near to you. But it's worth it because when you have a doctor that you really have a good rapport with and that listens and cares, it's amazing. I'm a fairly healthy person and yet I know how much this has made a difference for me and I wanted to encourage everybody out there to have a great relationship with your doctor and if you don't, keep looking and hopefully you'll find someone that you love as much as I love my new doctor. For TV, we finished watching The Vikings or Ragnar. Uh, I can't wait for the next season to come out. Love it. It is very, very violent. <laughs> For after that, we started watching Blacklist. It's funny, I said before that Mark likes this better than I do. I take that back. I loved this last season so much. I just love all the characters. James Spader makes that show for me, but I don't know if this is good or bad, but it all seemed a lot more plausible. Yes, there's some things you just have to go with. It's a TV show, <laughs> but I really, really enjoyed it. Not sure what we're going to start next. I've heard great things about The Crown, but I want something that has more series out there so we don't, you know, get stuck in limbo. So we'll see what we both want to pick up next. Crochet. I have made some progress on my crochet jacket and that is because of you guys. When I post on here and say, oh, I haven't made any progress, it really helps me focus. So thank you for that encouragement and I need to keep at it. I would love to say I'm going to be finished this by the end of the year, but I think that might be a bit lofty, but it's not going to be a multi-year project. If I don't get it done, you know, in December, it'll be early part of next year and I will have it finished. Thanks to all of you. Olivia and my sister are still living up in Prince George. They've been able to go home down to the mainland. They live on Vancouver Island, but they've been able to go down to the mainland for some hockey tournaments. And my mom and dad and my brother-in-law have gone over to see them during those times. Finally, in the middle of November, my sister and Leanne were able to take a long weekend and fly home and actually be on the island. This is the first time since they left their home two months ago to go to Prince George for Olivia to play AAA hockey. My sister is finding it tough. She's very homesick, but it is an amazing opportunity for Olivia. I think my sister is just amazing for making this happen. Not many mothers would move 17 hours away from their other child and their husband and their life to support the one child doing this. So I hope Olivia appreciates how fabulous her mom is. They 
came back after that trip and with the team they went to Calgary for some hockey games and then they went to Saskatchewan for some hockey games. So this has been a big opportunity for Olivia and her team is doing great. She's going to be up there still until March. So they're handling the winter okay, which I think would be the toughest part, but they're doing well. So that's my favorites and appreciation. I'd love to hear what yours were for the month of November. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I really appreciate it and I hope you have a great day.